Hey guys, it's that time again. It is time to do my Q&A. This is actually a Q&A for me. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Lexi. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is a good day. I have a book out there. Those of you who didn't know, guess you don't know. <laughs> we are home! Woo-woo! My day kind of went sideways. And if you're back, welcome back. They're either so cheesy or so inappropriate. <laughs> Delicious! They got the boom jiggle. Which direction do you go? We're just stirring some pork chops. I want to um, also use my voice to raise awareness. We are good to shelter in place. Where's the camera? Here. <laughs> a hack that I do. Hi! <laughs> but it was so, so fun. Oh, look who stole my yoga mat. It's that time! We'll be back. <laughs> Again, that was Lexi Miles, uh, romance author. Hey guys, it's that time again. It is time to do my Q&A. This is actually a Q&A for me. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. But first I wanna say welcome to my channel and welcome back to those of you who are back. I love, love to hang out with you guys. All right guys, let's go ahead and just jump in. All right guys, so I got this all set up. Um, here we go. Like I said, I'm just gonna jump into these questions. It is May, it is time for some fun. Um, before I do jump into them though, I just wanted to say, I have my tea right here. It's a watermelon tea. It's really, really good. And there we go. Winter, your desire. It's gonna be backwards for you guys, but winter desire. My novels by Lexi Miles. There it is. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, I just saw my nails. By the way, this nail right here totally been back today. It caught on like a box and it hurt like nothing. All right, so important things you guys need to know. Another thing, <laughs> I'm in my room because it is so bright. And I was in the middle of writing, but I took a quick break just to do the um, Q&A for you guys. But it's so pretty and I'm like enjoying looking out the window, so it still might be a little distracted here and there, so. There it is. And let me also explain this look. I don't have any lashes or any eyeliner on today because I am really focused on getting to work, so this is just a basic beat. <laughs> and yeah. I think all of the stuff has been discussed. Let's jump in. Um, first, I will start with the where, what, when. That's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing all the time now. Oh, but first, if you do not know me, I am Lexi Miles. I am a romance author. I love all things romance, so that was the natural road to take. All right, so anyways, where, where can you find me? You can find me on www.leximilesauthor.com slash links, and you can find me everywhere I am. Um, as far as like my social media, so you can come hang out. Um, there's groups, you know, like reader groups and a whole bunch of things. Come here, baby. No? Okay. So my little one, I'm also sitting down here because you can come hang out with me a little bit more. All right. Um, also, what do I write? Um, some of you would ask, oh, what can I expect out of your books and stuff like that? So what do I write? I write H-E-A's, which are basically happily ever after. Ab basically happily ever after. Ab happily ever afters. Some are happy for nows, but usually they're happily ever afters. So there you go. Um, it usually leaves you with a smile. I love happy romances. And so that's what I write. Um, when, when is my next release? Um, my next release is going to be next month. I have a lot of exciting things that I'm going to be announcing soon, and I cannot wait, but I'm going to have to for just a little bit longer. So anyway, so you're going to be excited. It's going to be really cool things. So one of the questions, by the way, I have a lot of questions here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It's a lot this time, you guys. I mean, it's a lot last time too, but some of them are kind of birthday-ish, so that's why I think it's just a couple more. Um, but this is not one, of course, right? So, and a couple of you asked me, um, why did I decide to do the period video? Because I had talked about it in the last one. Um, not the, anyway, in the last Q and A that I really wanted to start doing videos like that. Uh, yeah, because you know, I think that sometimes, um, as women, we don't always talk about different things that might be going on with us. And I think that this is, um, a great space to do it. And so since I'm a lady, I wanted to share that with you guys. 
<laughs> Alright, so I will be doing some of that stuff. And sometimes, you know, just like girl talk, you know? But then sometimes just talk the very kids, like, you know, like that kind of cafe talk that you would have, like if you went to like a late night diner and you're talking to your friends. I'm gonna have chats like that because I really wanna have an opportunity to really get to know you guys and for you guys to really get to know me. Can I do more of those? Yes, I'll be doing more. <laughs> um, some of you have asked me, what is the uh, birthday challenge? Okay, so the birthday challenge, um, if you are one of my VIP readers, you're my newsletter, um, the birthday challenge, you know what it is. Basically, <laughs> it's a challenge that you answer a couple questions, they're birthday specific or something else specific, and you answer those questions, you send it to the response back to me, and you are entered. There'll be one random reader um, who is picked. So if you want to get in on it, go over to my giveaways page on my website, and ta-da, you can still jump in there and get to be a part of it. Have you always been had a good work ethic? Yes, I have. Um, I am usually the first one there and last one to leave. Um, when I wake up, I love to work, so it's just something that is in me to do, and I don't, um, like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So, you know, I commit to it, I find out how to do it, I make sure it's done right, um, even if it might take a little bit longer, I do it right. So, there's that, and I also do it. Um, for me, work is super fun, but of course, I am a writer now, but anytime I did work, I found the joy in it. You know, you gotta have joy in what you do, or like, what's the point? Okay, so recently, um, this one is just something that I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about, um, because some of you guys, like, since you asked about the work ethic, it made me think of something that I watched recently, um, and, um, they were talking about, um, you know, uh, live to work versus work to live. And it's like a really, really cool like concept. Um, <laughs> I know if you're American, you tend to live to work. Like we think about working, we go to work, we kind of base our whole day around work and stuff like that. Um, now I'm kind of generalizing, but you know. And then, um, however, sometimes in other countries, it's not that way. Um, you work to live so that you can have the lifestyle to live the fun things to do the fun things so right now I'm really focusing on getting more balance and everything else so that's why I wanted to raise that up to you guys my question is for you um, what about you like what are your thoughts on that so please feel free to drop those email them to me there may be a goodie or there might just be a great conversation so anyway just wanted to say that so that was my question to you guys because I always have one question in here um, oh <laughs> Last show that I binged, I actually binge watched um, just like the whole thing. I didn't even realize it was, it was eight episodes, but I was thinking, or 10 episodes, I don't know. But it was really good and it just went so fast. But I watched Emily in Paris. Um, it was really cool. Um, I studied French in school. I also had a French influence growing up. <laughs> Again, we make crepes, we make like all different types of crepes and stuff like that. Um, I also have um, some, anyway, the point is I love to do a lot of cool things that have a French thing. So, um, there's different things and I have, <laughs> I'm really bad with French, I'm really rusty with French, but I really liked it because it was really cool to see all the stuff of Paris and everything else and there's a lot of authentic, really cool things in there and I absolutely love it. Um, I do have a lot of, uh, French influence in my stuff going on, so <laughs> I thought that was really, really cool. I'll probably end up working that more into some of my books, so get ready for that. But yeah, all right, how do I stimulate my creativity? All kinds of ways. Um, I like to um, consume a lot of like TV, books, music, um, different activities. I love to live on Pinterest because there's like so many different things. I'm like there all the time. Like if I'm like, oh, fashion, oh, uh, place to travel, oh, 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 food, da, da, da. So you get my point. All of those things, or just, you know, just things like, um, you know, if you hear different names or you see different beautiful colors, like I just let life inspire me. So that's where I get my inspiration. And that's like where, how and where I stimulate my creativity and music is a big influence as well. The favorite, like my favorite book that I've written I love, like, all my books are special to me in some way, and I just, like, enjoy writing, so there's that. But um, one of my favorite books that I've written, it's usually, um, some of them would be, like, the ones that I'm, like, actually doing at the moment, or it could be um, 
some of my favorites. Like one that's always gonna be one of my favorites is gonna be Custom Fit because it was one of the books that just kind of free flow for me. And there's like a lot of special moments in there of the surrounding and about the holidays and stuff like that. And they're just like fun things in there. So I love that one. Um, but because um, it's one of my first ones that I released. But um, one that's gonna be coming out, it's called Private Lessons. It deals with a couple core issues, some heavy things and some things that might reflect a few things that have occurred in my life. So, I like that one. Um, it deals with um, uh, domestic violence. So, um, but it also talks about rebuilding yourself and a lot of evolution and stuff like that and trusting people again and a whole bunch of stuff. So, I really like that book because it let me dive deep. Another one I, I really like that I've written recently was Some Like It Hot. Um, that one's gonna be coming out. That one kind of deals with death and kind of, you know, like a realistic point of view. Um, he's a firefighter and she's like here for the firehouse. And anyway, um, if they're going to date, you know, she doesn't really, really want to date somebody that it could be a dangerous situation. She's recently had a loss, so she's kind of dealing with that in the book. And since I recently had a loss, I kind of put some, poured some of those emotions into there and it really helped me. It was very therapeutic and it was very, it's, I, hopefully it helps other people when you're like, oh, what do I do? I know that when I saw different things, like some of the stuff that I kind of wrote and passed along some of those nuggets and also some of the things that I was just feeling and stuff like that, hopefully you don't feel alone. So if you had a loss, maybe that book will help you. But anyways, I really like those two books right now. They're like, or those three, because I, of course I said custom fit. Um, uh, private lessons and then um, some like it hot. So that's some of the things that you have to look forward to. Um, yeah, it's asked me some extremely good questions. Um, let me see. So what comes first? They, do I pick, you know, like, do I have the character and then I build the story around it? Or is it the story that comes first? And then I kind of get characters to kind of fit like the idea of the story or whatever. Um, I would like to say that um, the story typically comes first, like the idea for the story. And then I kind of have um, characters that I think about that might be fun to actually tell those stories and kind of, you know, be the guide per se, the tour guide of those stories. <laughs> but um, it has been reversed where I just had this really interesting character because I'm writing one that's about a magician. And I just, there was a picture and it was this character and I said, I want to build an interesting world around this character. So it happens both ways, but most of the time it's I have the story first and then the character. Do I or where did I want to go most during COVID because of everything that was all shut down and everything else? Where did I really want to travel? <laughs> you guys, it's going to sound so cliche, but Disneyland. <laughs> That's where I would want to go right now um, or somewhere tropical. But I am also thinking about going to like a winery or something soon. Chloe, are you okay with a winery? <laughs> Chloe's in the next room. Um, uh, are you getting dressed right now? Anyway, want to say hi, Chloe? Hi. Okay. <laughs> and now that's Harley's turn to say hi. <laughs> to say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> I love you too. Okay, I'm gonna let her go now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's jamming back and forth. Anyway, okay, I tried this thing. Wait, it was not successful. <laughs> I was on a basketball team and I was good, okay? But apparently that's not today. <laughs> Okay guys, what's the next question? Um, affirmations, um, what are my thoughts on affirmations? How often do I read them if I do? Um, yeah, so I love affirmations, I'm all about those. Um, if you do not know what an affirmation is, basically uh, you write down a focused thought that is positive and like for example, um, I am productive. Like you can say something like that and you say it in the present and basically you say it as if you're already doing it because it helps your brain to get in gear and get things happening and do it to manifest those different things. But if you do know what affirmations are, okay, that was a review. So basically what are my thoughts on them? I love them. Um, how often do I read them? I try to read them in the morning and at night. So um, twice a day um, or at lunch. Take it with your meals. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna do some rapid fire. Um, what was one of your fun summer memories? Um, uh, psh, bonfires, like with friends at the beach. Something you're doing right now, I'm spending time working on me and I'm also spending a lot of time in the writer room. Something I'm excited about, I'm really excited to share a few announcements with you guys and I cannot wait to share those with you. Um, they all are book related. Um, some are about uh, 
the future anthologies that are coming up, a couple of future anthologies that are coming up, and also a huge Hunter Grant giveaway, but I cannot say anything about it yet, but hint, 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 really cool things are about to happen there. What's the other thing? Uh, I just had a couple. Why do I like living in California? Um, I, just, I love, love the weather. <laughs> no, I love the weather, of course, but I just love the energy of the people and I just love the feeling of it all. It's just so, it's just a really nice place to be. You get your best ideas. I kind of answered that earlier, but I would just say from life. Da, 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 da. The rapid fire, you guys had like really good ones. Uh, what did you do and what'd you get for your birthday? Um, for my birthday, what did I do? Um, I had like a low key birthday, hung out with Chloe. Um, and we did like a lot of different things. We got cake, we opened presents, we had a girls day where we like pampered ourselves and watched some movies. And um, she spoiled me rotten. She like cooked and everything else. And um, I think I said a birthday cake already, but that totally makes my birthday. And then I did, um, I set up some affirmations or some plans, you know, like some resolutions for the new year and for of my, you know, my birthday. And I did that every year and that's what I did. And I got a lot of FaceTime in with my puppy and I loved that. And yeah, next rapid fire. Is it hard to decide my next book to write? Um, a lot of times uh, it is kind of in between because when you're gonna commit to an idea, you wanna make sure that it's exactly what you want to actually be spending your time on. But usually no, because when the idea wants to be written, it lets you know and that's like pretty much what you're thinking about. Okay, that is the rapid fire one. So now let's see, what else do I have here? Um, are you familiar with navel gazing? If so, um, how much of it do you do when you write? Okay, so when I heard this term, I was like, I'm, what? So I, <laughs> no, I wasn't, but now I am. So navel gazing is basically, it's like almost like you're looking internally. You know what I mean? You're looking internally, you're kind of thinking, you know, diving down deep and thinking, you know, processing stuff. Um, yeah, I do. I don't mean to do it, but when you're writing, or I think if you're doing anything creative, when you're doing that, you're kind of digging deep into yourself, if that makes any sense, and you're sharing a bit of yourself. So I think that that's, it's impossible kind of to divorce those two ideas. It's kind of a part of it. It's kind of weaved into it. So, <laughs> yeah. I would like to say, I think that I do definitely do navel gazing when I'm doing it. This one's kind of deep. Um, it says, what part of being an author makes you nervous? So how have you and how has your writing changed from when you started? All right, guys, again, that was my questions. I hope you enjoyed them. All right, guys, like I said, there's a lot of questions. So please be sure to check out part two.